It really has been a week for bling guns this week. It seems the boys and girls at Umrex have been going crazy with the shiny stuff. It seems they've even turned the Beretta 92 into a Cylon sidearm. Now that comment will sort out the sci-fi oldies out there. Now I don't suppose there's an awful lot more I can say about the Beretta 92 FS that I haven't already said in previous reviews. So please feel free to take a look at those. This is the eight round non blowback pellet version that I already own a few of and I find them to be pretty accurate. They have a great weighty feel, superb quality and I've stated many times that I am a real fan of the 92. But whilst I have it here, it would be rude not to at least give this polished chrome version a chrono and target test. So let's take a look at the feet per second. We're into fire. Let's see what results we get. 409. Non blowback, of course. 412. Open up just a little. 402. It's a real handful, is this? It's lovely. 382. Not too shabby then. So, what about the target work? As always, shot out at 8 metres in the indoor range. By your command. Pretty good then. But of course, this is a non-blowback pellet firing gun, so it should be pretty accurate. The most amazing thing about this, apart from quality, feel, accuracy, hard case and accessories that are available with the M92FS pistols from Umarex, is the choice of finishes. Surely now there is one to suit everybody out there, even the ageing sci-fi fans like me. Quick walk around then. All metal, plastic grips, click open eight round magazine that is a simple method of dropping each pellet in. Once loaded, slot into the space. Then we need to gas, push the button through, it pops the other side out, open, slot in, tighten up so far you'll get used to how far you need to go on these things then click it home return plastic handle and now you're ready to go this has as always the safety on both sides so it works for left or right handed shooters red for fire obviously and it's very sure and click that's great the sights are open sights and as you can see from the accuracy test, they're pretty good. Trigger is also metal. And you've got the pullback hammer. And the main thing about these replicas from Umrex is the attention to detail, the weight, the feel of it. The only thing you can't do with these is field strip them. The one thing to point out with this one, as you can see from where I've been holding it, is very quickly you're going to get fingerprints all over it. So make sure you've got a cloth with you at all times to keep it nice and shiny. Would I buy these? They are expensive. I think these are coming out about £230, something like that, UK. However, this is the top end. This is the top quality. There's very few plastics on this. And I've seen people who have actually replaced the grips with wooden ones and indeed they do one with wood. Superb gun, big favourite of mine, you can't go wrong if you're into your 92s, 
these are probably the higher end quality ones to add to your collection. Beautiful. Well done again, Umarex. Top job. Recently I talked about the air gun community and how it needs to be brought together as much as possible. When the channel was taken down, I was in Spain at the time filming the Ed Gun Leshy. A fantastic gun. The review is available to watch if you want. But one of the most supportive people at the time when the channel was taken down was Ed Gun West. They tried every avenue possible that they could to try and keep the Andy's Air Gun Review channel online running and get it back from being suspended and I really appreciated their help. So it's a bit of a shout out go and check out Ed Gun West he deals mostly obviously in Ed Guns but a great guy who really is part of the community.